Okay guys, so what we've got here is the PlayStation Vita. This is the new handheld gaming system coming out from uh, Sony PlayStation. This is a 5 inch OLED organic light emitting diode. It's running at 960 by 540 resolution. It is a touch screen, a multi touch screen, so you can touch with multiple fingers. You also have, come on, there it is. You can actually multitask as well. This is a quad core processor, so if we go in here and I can hop online and I can party up with some of my buddies, I can go over here, I can actually pull up some videos. So if you guys need, need to see this thing in video trailer goodness, I'm going to actually jump ahead real quick. This is the uh, this is the new Spider-Man trailer coming out from uh, Sony Pictures. But even with the goop on the screen for me touching it and everybody you know, on wash mass is getting in there, this still looks amazing. Again, OLED. I must say, it, it does look good. I mean, it's it doesn't quite, look good on the camera here. Which is always the challenge. You know, you get in there, but... But it, it does, it, I would say, guys, it does look good. It looks pretty sick, so let's go ahead and hop out of that real quick, though, so we aren't going to mess with that too much. So, you've got a device here. First thing I want to point out, all you gamers out there, look right here. That is a second analog stick, boys and girls. That it means you can start playing your shooters, your adventure games, you can get out there and get sick with some great games. It's what we've been lacking in handheld consoles for a long time. So again, two analog sticks, OLED, touch screen on the front. I'm gonna blow your mind, folks, sorry about this. The entire back touch surface, everywhere where you see these uh, these symbols, is another multi-touch surface. So yes, the entire back of the device, try and get that so you don't get light shining off of it, is a multi-touch surface, everywhere inside here. So we got these two paddles for you to hold on to, but when you're playing along, all you gotta do is touch it like this. So gas, break, casting a spell, getting my warrior to spin around and do a multi-tech, draw a wall of fire, any of the things you wanna do in a game, developers are now gonna have the ability to hop in and do that on the back touch. So another thing we've got here. So the device, it's got a camera on the front right there. It's got another camera on the back right there. These are both the same CCD camera, but they're, they're tweaked just a little bit different in the way they work. This back one is for looking out into the environment. So it's got a better longer distance, better low light. It's going to pick up environmental shots better. This front one is for close-up shots, so it's going to get better contrast. It's going to pick up skull, uh, uh, skin color and eye color. It's going to be really good for close-up shots. We've got a game called Reality Fighter. We actually take a photo of yourself and plaster it onto the character and make you. So, you know, make and take an avatar shot, too, and all that sorts of crazy stuff. Fun stuff with both of the cameras. We've also taken what we learned from the six-axis controller and the Move controller from last year. Mm -hmm. This is a full motion device. Three accelerometers, three gyros, and it's got an e-compass on it. So I know what you're doing, where you're facing, and what's going on. So you can actually do augmented reality games where I'm using the back camera to look out in the world, and I'm shooting robots and such in this environment right here. So motion control, both of the cameras, you got front and back touch, connectivity. This is a Wi-Fi device, all of the Vitas are Wi-Fi. You can also get a 3G version. Now, 3G, why would I want 3G? I'm playing video games, what the hell? 3G allows me to get notifications anywhere I am. So friend requests, game requests, somebody beat my high score, leaderboard changes, what do I want to do? Challenges come down and pull those down. I can find my friends online right where I'm at, find out what they're doing, what are they playing. I can hop into a group message with them and I can send a message, hey guys, let's hop on to Wipeout at 7 o'clock tonight. Or I can hop into a party. Up to eight people in a party, voice chatting, over Bluetooth headsets, online, while you're playing different games. You're playing Uncharted, I'm playing Wipeout, he's playing Hot Shots, we're all still talking with one another. These parties also aren't your run-of-the-mill video game parties. When you leave, a, you hop in a Modern Warfare or kill zone. you get into a group, you're having fun, what happens when you leave? You're out of the party. This party is persistent, meaning you leave the game, you're still in the party. You have to opt out of the party to get out of it. So therefore, you can now chat and talk with people. I ask hey guys, I gotta go to a meeting. I hit the sleep button. You send a text saying, hey, we're gonna play Wipeout at seven o'clock. I'll get that text when I come in, right there in the message list, so I know what's going on and where we're going. Near. 3G, this is where this is aces. The Near application is absolutely amazing. What this does is it tells me what's going on near me. So within four kilometers, anyone who's opted into Near, 
I'm going to know what they're playing, where they are. I can then go in here and I can actually hop in. Once it loads, there we go. I can actually see I'm out and about, who's around me, what are they doing, what's going on. I can click on them, I can add friends, you know, and friend invite to them, join a game. Also, I can find discoveries. What have people done around me? You beat a trophy in a game and the developer is added in, you can geocache an item to that geographical location, drop a digital item in the environment. So I'm sitting in the park on my lunch break, I beat a level of Uncharted or Wipeout or whatever, I get an item, I can drop in the world, you then can see when you're out and about, hey, there's something nearby here. You go up, it's like a scavenger hunt, but you pick up the digital item that gives you better tires in a racing game or more bullets or whatever. So again, near, absolutely amazing use of the uh, 3G experience. So, great videos, you can do your own music, movies, videos, I have music, movies, movies and videos, nice, that's nice. I've obviously been talking a lot today. You can do movies, music, and photos, all uploaded here via the content manager from your PC, just plug it in or your PS3 to the proprietary port in the bottom right there, it comes with it. You can also use that to power the thing up. As you can see, we've got a three and a half millimeter phone, headphone jack there as well. You can also plug in via Bluetooth. Good stuff there, all right. So, got it. Where are we going here? Uh, we got too many things going on. Too many options. So too many options. What's the price point? Price point. So the Wi-Fi version is 249. The 3G version is 299. The data plan for the 3G version two, uh, is 1499 for 250 megs, 2499 for two gigs. <coughs> no long-term commitment. So month to month. Very very handy. And when's it coming up? February 22nd. I look forward to seeing you guys online. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you.